welcome to the video guys in this video i will show you how you can create this stylist i fully procedurally in blender for your characters so let's start with this new scene first of all let's uh, add a uv sphere make sure this generate uv box is checked now we are gonna go to edit mode and rotate it 90 degrees along x axis grab this vertex and put it right here now i'm gonna select this edge loop and move it along y axis a little bit and scale it a bit like this now i'm gonna select this as loop 2 and uh, give it a bevel now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete this vertex and select this edge loop and extrude it a bit along y axis and fill this gap and add some edge loops for better working of the subdivision surface modifier we're gonna use just now now go to the modifier stack add subdivision surface and give it a level of 2 okay now let's jump to the fun part shading so first of all i'm gonna mark the pupil sorry i'm gonna mark the iris till here i want my iris to be so let's create a new material go to material preview mode duplicate this principal psdf give it a bluish tone i want my iris to be blue and i'm gonna create another material also for the pupil i'm gonna create an emission shader and give it a dark black color it will be the pupil what we have to do basically we have to mix these three shaders accordingly so it will look like an eye we have shown earlier so how we're gonna do that is i'm gonna add a texture coordinate node and i'm gonna take its uv channel and i'm gonna separate the y channel from it And now with the help of color ramp nodes, we can create the factor for mixing these three. So first of all, I want to mix this white color and the blue iris. So I'm gonna add a mix shader, connect it here, connect it here, and connect this to the material output. And connect this color ramp to the factor of this mix shader. So what we want, we want our iris to be around here we have marked it also so how we're gonna do that we're gonna get this slider somewhat around here and i don't i'm not liking this linear transition i'm gonna change it to constant for this and i'm gonna select uh, i'm gonna take this slider and pull it outwards till it reach where we have marked it with the cursor we have we will recheck it yeah it's correct i want my rs to be around here now what we are gonna do we are gonna mix this emission with this mix shader because i want a black ring around this around the corner of this rs so how we're gonna do that we're gonna duplicate this mix shader connect this emission here and duplicate this color ramp give it the y channel also and connect it to the factor of the new mix shader but now how we're gonna like uh, get that corner edge i'll show you first of all change it to cardinal and add two more sliders in here because we want a edge in there so and how we're gonna do that we're gonna like create this slider here and this one there and we're gonna merge these very close to each other so it will behave like this now our rings have created but i don't want it that far i want it at the corner of this uh, what we call iris i want this at the corner of this iris so how, what we, i'm gonna do i'm gonna decrease the size of this ring this slider is not doing it this slider is doing it as you can see you have to check with each slider of course but this slider can't go behind this one so i'm gonna have to move this one first and then the this slider now it's in the correct position but it's very thick so i'm gonna make it a little bit of thinner as you can see it's thin now with the third slider i'm using but as as it goes behind this one it will like reverse the process which i don't want basically so i want to first decrease this and make it here and now what i want i want to take this one you have to play with these sliders a bit and see how it's working with you so as you can see now i can see it's coming right in the position still it has to uh, go a little bit of little bit below uh, i guess yeah nice 
okay i want it to be fully to the edge but not like this i want to move the ring yeah like that so you have to play with these sliders a bit make it work for you as you can see it's creating a effect in here but i want it on my corner so i'll play with it a little more and see how it can go there okay i guess i have to move all these far apart yeah okay okay now it's in the position and just how i want it i want it to gradually like goes in so it's now going in and starting from the edge of my iris so this is how you have to do this you have to play with these sliders a bit now let's duplicate this color ramp one more time because we have to mix this emission again for the pupil the inside pupil so just duplicate this mix shader connect this emission one more time and Give the new color ramp the Y channel and connect it to the factor of the new mix shader. And this one might be easy. For this, I have to like delete the extra two sliders I have created for the last one. And I'm just gonna use this white and black. So let me just see what works for me. Let me just make it full white first of all okay so it's working working and yeah this one i like i'm just gonna play with it till i get i also want the smooth effect from the center also so it will look good in the middle the iris part i want it to be pitch black so yeah i'm gonna place this slider here and i want the if smooth effect also a little bit so i will place it right there okay so now as you can see our eye is looking pretty good and now we have to give it a reflection so for that what we're gonna do we will create another uv sphere make it a little bit bigger shade it smooth and give it a subdivision level of two and give it a material of a glass basically make it fully metallic roughness zero and make its alpha 0.1 now it will look good so for viewing it let's me let me go to cycles add an hdri i am using this hdri from hdrihaven.com it's free and you can download it from there now if i go to render view mode now you can see we have our eye and it's fully procedural and this is how you can do it and if you want you can set it to suzanne head like i do for the thumbnail of this video you also can do one thing you can parent it to this outer surface uh, first select the inner eye which is the sphere then select the outer eye which is the reflective coating and hit ctrl p and choose object keep transform now you just have to move this one object and your eye will go okay. so this is how you create stylized eye fully procedurally in Blender.